Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Roger. I'm Roger. And I'm Lexi. And today, we're going to go ahead and talk about our most recent daddy-daughter fasting experience. We're doing another little short boot camp, and we did a 31-day water fast. We're following this up with a 21-day refeeding period. That's going to be its own little video. Now, for today, we're just going to talk about and show off a little bit of change in our bodies from these pictures just a month ago to what you see in front of you now and we're going to tell you exactly what we did and how we did it so i know i'm always the one talking i can't help it i have an overbearing personality as a dad i'm probably overbearing as a person in general I'm just big mouthed as hell. So I want to take a step back right now. I'm going to let Lexus tell you straight up her feelings about how we handled this particular fasting experience. And then after that, we're going to break right into the numbers and the math, the statistics of this fast to show you how we got from there to here. Lexus, tell the viewers how you felt during this fast. Alexis? Well, this fast was a little bit different than last fast. Last fast, the first few days sucked. The rest of it was pretty awesome. I actually kept going. I even went past uh, like our goal last time, but this time has been a little bit different, um, probably because you know the COVID thing and you have to wear masks, so you're not walking as fast because everything's blocked off because six foot and whatnot. But um, overall, I feel pretty good. Um, I know that I've shed some weight. My pants, I no longer have my muffin top, which is nice. Um, so there's that. Okay. So guys, now we're just going to get straight in to the detailed analysis of this particular fast. I'm going to start and then I'm going to let Lex break right in and do her own. So here are my statistics. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and give you my statistics for this 31 day fast. First off, I started at 250 pounds as of March 1st. As of April 1st, this morning, I am at 209.4. Now that is a total weight loss of 41.6 pounds. Of course, this is not my final body. I intend to continue losing weight through the refeed, and that in itself is going to be a separate video that should release roughly three weeks from now because I'm doing a 21 day refeed cycle. A few other statistics that you may be interested in, I like to track a variety of things, uh, is let's start with my steps for the day, all right? For the entire month, the total of my steps was 987,792 steps as recorded by my Fitbit. Now that makes an average daily step count of 32,926 as shown in the photo that you're seeing now. One of the interesting things that, that I find is how when I'm fasting, my body gets so streamlined and efficient that my heart rate tends to decrease. As you can see in this picture, it started out at 67, which is roughly an average uh, resting heart rate for somebody of my age. However, only 31 days later, the average down is to 57. Now, when I say that I lost 41.6 pounds, I want to compare that to the average of one pound of fat equals 3,500 calories. I like, well, I like double checking that math uh, pretty often and especially on larger scale like this. So if you look here, you see that my total calorie burn for the month was 145,146 calories or an average daily calorie burn of 4,838. 
Now, if we take and divide 145,000 by uh, one, 145, 146 by 3,500 calories, we come out with 41.5 pounds. Only a difference of one tenth pound of my actual weight loss. That in itself is pretty awesome, guys. So now I'm going to step off to the side. And we're going to let Lex come up and give you her statistics her way. Okay, so now we're going to talk about numbers. My numbers specifically. Um, I started at 168 pounds at the beginning of this fast. If you watched the last video on fasting, you know that I was losing about a pound a day. Well, this time I ended up losing only 20 pounds versus the 30 that we thought that I was going to after doing a little bit of research, we found out that the Bang Energy drinks that I tend to lean towards, and Dad did warn me, were not good for me. But, you know, I'm an adult, so I'm like, oh, zero calories, let's do it. And, yeah, apparently they can cause insulin spikes, which can slow down weight loss. Bad. So if you're doing it like me and you do the Bang Energy drinks, I would say that you should expect about two-thirds your weight loss, because that's what mine did. So I now weigh a... Uh, interesting 148 pounds not bad but we're not done yet uh we've still got three weeks of refeeding and dad has assured me that the way he is going to guide the refeeding we will lose plenty more weight before the end of it so that's going to be interesting so so far i have done um we all calculated up with the steps and stuff so this month i ended up doing almost a million steps okay so that's actually just a slight exaggeration it was 979,123 steps total over the last 31 days that's a lot which ended up only averaging 32,637 steps a day uh, a little bit more than our previous 30,000 steps a day but not that much more a little bit always try to improve my heart rate on the other hand went from 65 beats a minute which is not super healthy for a girl my age um but is great for my father but i'm not you know yeah so now it's down to 47 which is way better for you know the shape of my cardiacness i know that's not a word just play along it's okay anyway so we got a my calorie burn ended up being uh, about 106,122 calories for the month, which averages out 3,537 calories per day. That is almost a pound or right at a pound of weight loss a day. Unfortunately, because of the insulin spikes, it kind of threw the math a little bit. So, uh, yeah, bad me. Anyway, that's my statistics. And here's dad. I did mine first. I don't know why she said, here's dad. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to be putting the refeed video up in three weeks. And this is going to be smaller than it is. And she is going to be smiling bigger because I'm going to get her under 140 where she wants to be. And then after that, baby, we're hitting the beach for two weeks in the sun. We will be streaming live a lot of the time while we're down in Florida with me, my kids, my grandkids, and all the cool shit that goes along with a vacation at the beach. I'm even gonna be doing some underwater streaming just for you guys, just to share my vacation with all of my viewers. Till next time, guys, do your best and have a great time.